Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Truth Seekers podcast. A truth seeker is someone who wants to know the truth. They search for what's true and they won't rest until they find it. I am a truth seeker and if you are too, then you've come to the right place where we will search for truth each week in the stories of the Bible. Well, hello and welcome. Today's episode is part of our Praying the Bible series. Each month we read a passage from the Bible and learn how to pray it back to God. Have you ever struggled with knowing what to say to God when you pray? Sometimes we don't always know how to pray or what to pray when we're talking to God. The good news is that God has given us the Bible, and the Bible is filled with all kinds of truths that we can pray back to God. When we are at a loss and don't know how or what to pray, we can turn to the Bible to give us truths that we can stand on and believe in when we pray to God. Today we are going to continue a series that we began in our last Praying the Bible episode where we are reading through seven different statements that Jesus made about himself. When he was here on earth, he gave us pictures to help us understand what he is like. Since Jesus is God's son, that means that Jesus is God. It can be hard for our minds to grasp or understand what God is like since we can't see him. So Jesus gave us seven illustrations to help us know what he is like. We call these I am statements. Can you say I am? We call them I am statements because that's how Jesus started each statement by saying I am. Jesus gave us seven I am's so that we would know exactly what he is. Jesus wants all who follow him to know him and know his goodness. My prayer is that as we walk through these passages, we will come to understand and know Jesus better. In our last Praying the Bible episode, we learned the first I am statement. Do you remember what picture Jesus gave us to help us understand what he is like? Jesus said he is the bread of life. He said, I am the bread of life. Did you remember that one? If you did, good job. The more we read the Bible, the more we pray, the more our spirits will grow and look like him because he is life to our spirits. He is the bread of life. Well, are you ready to learn the next I am statement that Jesus made? We're going to learn it today. All right, here we go. Listen to what Jesus has to say in the book of John chapter 8 verse 12 and chapter 9 verses 1 through 5. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. As he went along, he saw a blind man from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus, but this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. As long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. As you listen to the words of Jesus, did you hear the I am statement? The I am statement Jesus made about himself this time was when he said, I am the light of the world. Did you hear it? What did Jesus mean when he said, I am the light of the world? Remember, Jesus is giving us a picture or an illustration so we can know what he is like. Let's take a minute to think about what this means before we pray. First, I want you to think about how light works. Light helps us to see. It shows us what is all around us. It shows us what is true. In the dark, we can't see the truth. We stumble and trip and fall and can't make our way. Jesus is the light because he shows us what is true. Without Jesus, we would not know the truth. We would be lost in darkness, stumbling and not able to tell right from wrong. Jesus shows us what is right. Next, let's think about how Jesus is like a light in our hearts. When we ask Jesus to come into our lives and be our Savior, he takes his spotlight and shines it in the dark places of our hearts. He shows us what needs to be removed, places where we have made other things more important than him, and he shines his light so that he can cleanse us and remove the dirt and ugly places so that we can be free 
Jesus then comes and makes his home in our hearts and he lives close to us. He brings freedom and sets us free from the places where we have been bound in darkness. Finally, I want you to think about how Jesus said he is the light of the world. This means he wants others to be drawn to him, those who don't know him. He is the light that draws all men to him. Anything other than Jesus that would try to be the light is false. There is no other light but Jesus. He is the only way to heaven. He is the only way to salvation, and his light shows us the way. When we put our faith in him, we have the light. We have Jesus in us. Isn't he such a good God that he has given us the picture of a light so that when we think about Jesus, we can think about how he is the light of the world, how he comes and removes our darkness and sets us free and makes us safe. The dark can be a scary place, but Jesus comes and gives us safety and peace. He illuminates the dark. The more we allow him to shine his light in us, the more we will look like him. Great job, True Seekers. Now that we have thought about the words of Jesus and this I am statement, we are ready to pray. So if you did not know what to pray about before, now you have many things you can pray to God about. Would you like to listen to me say a prayer first before you give it a try? Let me pray and you listen for all the ways I pray what we just learned. Dear Jesus, I thank you that you are the light of the world. Please come and shine your light in the darkest places of my heart, the places that I have kept hidden from you. Shine your light so that I can be free, free from the darkness that the enemy would try to keep me bound in. Shine your light on the places that I need to ask for forgiveness so that you can heal and save. Let your light so shine upon me, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, True Seekers, it's your turn. I encourage you to take time this week to use Jesus' I am statement to help you when you pray to God. He is right there with you and he can't wait for you to start talking to him. Before we go today, I have a review I'd like to read. It says, Hi, I'm a mother of four children, ages ranging from four to 12 years. We found your podcast some months ago and have been hooked ever since. We're going through the second time and eagerly wait for new episodes. I can't thank you enough for feeding us the wholesome word of God and letting it come alive. I've recommended to few friends and family who have children and even adults. My seven-year-old daughter wanted me to send you her note. Hi, my name is Katola and I'm seven years old. My sister, Krahuvala, is eight years old, and she says that your voice is nice. My favorite story is when Jesus is born. My sister loves David and Goliath, and we moved to a new house. And by the way, we are listening all the way from Nagaland, northeast part of India. God bless you and your ministry. Well, thank you so much for sending that in. I love that you have found the podcast in India. And thank you so much for spreading the word and sharing it with your friends. I pray God's blessings over you and that you continue to be blessed by the stories that you're listening to from the word of God. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to our time together next week.